Hi, I'm Nadia Freeman with Rockstone Sessions and I'm here with Ray Morris. Ray, how are you doing? I'm really good, thank you. We're super excited to see you today. Thank you so much for talking to us. And um, how was your show? Tell us about the festival. It was brilliant. It was really, really good. It was um, my first gig in a while, actually. So I was kind of, um, yeah, just a little bit unfamiliar. And then it was the crowd were brilliant and they made me feel really at home. So um, yeah, it was great. It was a perfect introduction back into it. Well, welcome back. We're super happy to have you back here. Um, now, I've read that you, you talk about um, when you're performing music, when you're writing music, it's you really in your rawest state. Can you explain a little bit more about that? I think that came from um, the fact that, like, when I started writing, I really just didn't think about it. And it was um, quite a natural thing. It just felt like it was a response to things that were happening in my life and um, emotional things and just the everyday feelings that everyone feels. and. Um, it just, I didn't, I didn't, yeah, I didn't decide that I was going to sit down and write a song, it just happened. Mm -hmm. And I think that's why, like, I always try and keep that, that feeling. And you kind of do lose it as you start to um, get older and, and progress and do different things. And you kind of lose that, um, that real kind of naivety with it. Um, and it's a shame because it's like a, a really natural thing. Um, but that's, yeah, that's where that came from. Do you, do you feel like that you are losing that? Does that worry you? Um, no, it doesn't because yeah. it's like a. I think it it you you kind of lose that naivety, but then you gain a sense of confidence in different ways. And I definitely have kind of watched myself grow up in the last couple of years, and um, and seen myself kind of change into the human that I think I'm going to be for a bit longer. You know, so yeah. it's interesting. You lose certain things, um, but you gain things as well. Yeah, so. way. Um, talking about um, confidence, on stage you have this sort of fearless presence, um, but in, in real life you're super sweet and you're almost a bit shy and unassuming. And, and why is that? You're so talented. Where does this humbleness come from? Um, I think it comes from my dad, actually. <laughs> like, quite specifically. Um, he kind of is, oh, my whole family, actually. I think my whole kind of, the way I was brought up was to be really grateful and thankful and it's genuine it's like a, a just a thing when I meet people for the first time um I just want them to see me you know as who I am and I think um I, yeah I hope I'm not annoying so I think sometimes I'm a bit like annoying to people um but I think um yeah I, li I like I like that you can meet someone for the first time and show them yourself who you are like, you know so. so you're not about to unleash your inner diva I hope not. I, re I really hope not. <laughs> I think you should be demanding things like I want a white panther and I want red Maltesers and I don't know. Yeah, all those things. I do. <laughs> I desperately want all of those things. <laughs> Coming up very soon. Um, now, we, we, I talked about your fearless, powerful presence on stage and, and that you are a little bit more unassuming off stage. But where do you find your sort of inner Sasha Fierce when you when you do get up on the stage? Oh, oh well, um, I think I think it comes from like my own kind of want to do mm what to do a good performance and I think you can kind of be a little bit um if you know the hard, not hard on yourself but if I want to do right by the people who are stood in the audience and who have actually taken their time to come and stand there and actually stand up which is difficult it's hard standing up for a long period of time like I find it difficult watching someone for 45 minutes um so yeah I think that that makes me kind of feel confident that, that these people have stood in front of me and it's my job in a way to to make them feel like they're watching something that they they deserve to see, you know. Well, I can tell you on the audience's behalf that you are definitely worth every every minute oh, of it. Thank oh, there you. goes my neck. Um, now tell us about your new record. Um, yeah, can't believe that that's actually a thing. Um, yeah, we, I just I'm kind of ninety percent there. Um, it, it was almost finished, um, and I I made it. Um, in Los Angeles over the summer. Wow. Which is which sounds crazy. It sounds like. Um, su super flashy when it really wasn't it was just like a, an incredible experience and I feel so lucky to yeah to have done it and to feel totally proud of what came out of it and um, and yeah it was a it was a really great process and, and when can we expect that it's going to be out just before the summer next year oh, so yeah so we've got a bit of, bit of a wait but um, I think it's going to be worth it I think it needs it needs to kind of have a little bit more time and then it'll be out <laughs> okay. And what else can we expect from you in 2014? Um, well, hopefully some more gigging, because I kind of um, have taken a little bit of time, you know, away from the live thing to make the record. Mm -hmm. And for me, that was a, like a kind of difficult thing, just because of how much I 
like, like playing live is what I do and what I love. And um, so yeah, hopefully gigs and um, and gradual releases and then the album and more gigging. Gig, gig, gig. <laughs> wow, we've got a lot to look forward to. Yeah. And you've talked about how much you love um, gigging and that and that music is is a very sort of personal thing for you. How do you write your songs? Um, and and does playing live a lot does that craft does that shape your songs? Um, yeah, I think like especially in the early days, playing live was um, the way that I kind of started to like realize what a song was. Mm-hmm. I think for a long time I didn't really even know. I didn't realize that it was good to start here and then go to this place. And you know, um, so that definitely to gauge um, an audience's reaction on something and to kind of. I played a new song tonight, and um, it was really interesting. It's just amazing to see yeah. like that human reaction, um, and I think. Writing is a very like I have to not think about it because if I think about it too much, I'm, it's just a, it's all it's all overthought and um, and that same thing from before. It's just unnatural. So, um, but I enjoy it. It's like a very kind of re- like a relieving experience. Yeah. And um, I just have one more question, and it, it flows a bit from what we've been talking about. But do you have any tips or advice for budding songwriters or musicians who do want to get out there and put their music out there? Yeah, I think um, I was actually speaking to someone about this really recently, and I think that the biggest thing for me is just I never said no to anything, and I just um, not in a kind of desperate way. <laughs> I wasn't like, <laughs> didn't say <sound> desperate, <laughs> <laughs> but I just think every opportunity leads to something and mm-hmm. um, whether it seems really really small and um, you know playing to 10 people in a pub on a Saturday night when uh, everyone's totally wasted and you feel like you're singing to nobody like that leads to to something else and um, yeah you should just take every single opportunity. Brilliant thank you so much it's been a total pleasure and uh, you are welcome to come and visit us in The Hague anytime I'm so please to. do and we'll show you the beaches of Schreven, yeah? Um Amazing. but thank you so much and we'll see you next time. Thank, thank you. you.